sie Jahre am Militärakademie zugebracht haben, nur um zu lernen, wie man besser Gabel hält. Your mouth is bleeding. Shut up. What is your name? What do they call you? You will not speak unless spoken to. What is taking so long? Where are you, Claudius? Ralph? Are you afraid now? Where are you? They cannot hear you. The walls are too thick and the guards are far away. I don't belong here. I don't deserve to be here. Especially in the same cell as a Jew. What is your name? What is your fascination with my name? I believe part of one's identity can be found in it. Did they throw you in here because you're crazy? I don't believe I am. I am Major Ulrich Holtzman. Ulrich? It means noble, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> that it does. If my father could see me now, he would regret the day he gave it to me. How did you know the meaning of my name? I'm a linguistics professor. Words are my passion. Given your present condition, I'd say you were a professor. If you wish to think so. You intrigue me, professor. What is your name? Something Hebrew, I presume? Yes, it is of Hebrew descent. From the story of Moses, specifically. My name is Joshua. Moses? I remember that name from my childhood. Yes, it is from the Bible. Moses led the people of Israel out of Egypt. It is part of Jewish history. I wouldn't go around talking about Jewish history, Professor. I believe that's why you're in this cell talking to me. Partially. Your words, Professor. If you wish to think so. What are you looking at? Forgive me. It has been so long since I've seen another person for more than a glance. And what do you see? Well, you stand roughly two meters tall. You speak three languages with a little bit of French. I cannot exactly pinpoint your age. Your ranking threw off my original assumption. Oh, and you are right-handed. Are you a fortune teller too, Professor? <laughs> no, no, no. I just still seem to have my odd habit of reading people. I was afraid I'd lost it. And to think, all I gathered of you is you were a Jew. Is that all you see when you look at me, Major? It's all I wish to see. Why did my ranking throw off your guess at my age? You have a high ranking for the age I assumed. I believe you are 24, so either you are a very good soldier, or I am very wrong. You are correct, Professor. I am 24. I'll be 25 next month. Then you are a good soldier. I've worked for what I have. I joined as soon as I was able. 
My father was very proud. It is the joy of the son to win his father's approval. It does not come often. I see. I did not say it to ask for your pity. Nor did I intend to give it. So what did you do to be left in this forsaken part of hell? This is better than where I was before. Be as it may, not everyone has the pleasure of solitary confinement. I guess you could say I was thrown into silence for my silence. But you see, Major, the reason I am here has a lot more to do with the hearts of the ones who put me here. I am here for my silence, yes. But I am also here because of fear. Fear can distort the truth and blind those who would otherwise not be so ignorant. Do you always speak in riddles, Professor? No, not always. I am here for my lack of knowledge. More specifically, the whereabouts of my family. Withholding information. And you've survived this long. Barely. But for them, I would give my life and more. Wait, you said lack of information. You don't know where they are, do you? Then why are you here? That is the ultimate question, isn't it, Major? If you're making any implication... Now my fault in your situation, Professor. I do not wish to hear you speak any longer. I meant no harm, Major. I will remain silent if you wish. Would you like to tell your story? I must have hit you harder on the ground than I thought. You really want to hear my story? It would prevent me from speaking. <laughs> so it would. I don't see it leaving this cell, Professor, so I will. What do you want to hear? Whatever you feel like telling me. Well, I already told you I joined the Wehrmacht as soon as my 16th birthday came. My father had done the same, so it seemed fitting that I follow in his footsteps. I am of pure German blood, a lineage of honorable and successful men. What else is of interest? Are you married? Yes. Her name is Anna. It means full of grace. So it does. Do you have any children? Yes. So what is the meaning of your wife's name? Her name is Hadara. It means beautiful. It suits her perfectly. She embodies the word. Wives have an interesting way of making us feel that way, yes? From time to time. It has been too long since I've seen my Hadi. Of course, I once considered the day too long to be apart. It's been almost a year since I've spoken to Anna. <laughs> Nearly two since I've seen her. I've never met my daughter. Because of the army? No, no. Because of... other things. People required my attention. Did I mention she's American? No. She was an exchange student, far away from home. We met by chance when she asked for directions. I suppose she had an attraction for a man in uniform. I still had a little chivalry back then. <laughs> she was beautiful. I fell for her instantly. We were in love in the rash. <laughs> Married within a month. That was an interesting conversation with my father. The joy of young love is indescribable. It seems like so long ago. Time is a relevant thing. Maybe, Professor. You know, I'm still waiting on a very important question from you. What is that? You've told me why you were left here. 
You haven't asked why I was. It is for me to know if you decide to share it. And everything else wasn't. Did you know General Brunsworth is dead? I did not. That he is. You had the... honor of meeting him. Only briefly. That's what I thought. The General and I had an interesting relationship. He hated my father, so I was the recipient of long embedded ill will. And as you probably know, the wrath of Brunsworth is something you will never forget. I've seen too many of my people receive it. As have I with mine. At any rate, I probably should have worked harder to impress him, but that's no matter now. So, the general is dead. Where does that leave you? Well, it would leave me to increase in rank and to move on with my life. Unfortunately, fate would have it otherwise. Oh? It appears the general had more powerful allies than I had thought. Ones who shared his hate for me and would love to see me fall. The general didn't die of natural causes. I see. Do you? Or do you see what his pathetic friends have schemed for you to see? To see that I am some anarchist criminal? I did not I mean... I know. I know you didn't. The funny thing is... His demise had crossed my mind. <laughs> they have to know I didn't do it. Wrath is fierce, and anger is a flood. But who can stand before jealousy? Did you come up with that yourself? <laughs> no, no, that is from a book called Proverbs. <laughs> Fitting title. What else does this book have to say? Well, for your situation there is... A quick-tempered man acts foolishly, but a man of evil devices is hated. Do you hate me, Professor? No, I do not. Why? Should I hate you? Should you? I'm your enemy. I've stood by while your friends and your family have been killed. I've left my wife alone while I am consumed by this war against myself. I deserve this. You didn't do anything. What are they saying? They are coming to kill us. Are you afraid, Professor? Afraid? No. No. Do you feel you have lived your life? The question is not what I have lived for. But what am I willing to die for? My faith has got to me this far. It is what I have been living for and what I am willing to die for. My family. They are worth my life ten times over. What are you dying for? The Grossa. Arak Hortzman, rotting in the cell with the scum he deserves to be with. Obviously I haven't been forgotten, Claudius. Otherwise you wouldn't still be here. I'd watch my words if I were you, Alric. Your fate is in my hands now. You have no power over my future. Your opinions do not define what many others think of me. I am your commanding officer. And you were just the general's dog. Please, Claudius. Not the one we are here for. You've been in the cell too long, Jordan. Becoming a vest of space. Where are they? <laughs> Where are they?
What are you doing, Arik? Let him go. Are you going to shoot me? We used to be friends. You betrayed me. I was going to let you go. You were going to kill him. What concern is that to you? You would have been free. I would have let you go. You know what kind of man Claudius is. He speaks and acts irrationally. But you are a rational man. Put the gun down. And I'll act like nothing happened. Please. Are you sure you want to do this? I won't stand by any longer. But you could have gone back to your family. And left your children and family all alone. I won't do that. Yet to those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not get tired. They will walk and not grow weary. I was wondering where this guy was. Can you walk? I think so. Let's go. going to give us up that easily. I know. We need to get further away from here. Here, take this money. There should be enough there to buy a train ticket. You will never know what you have done for my family and me. You will never know what you have done for me. Go, find your wife. Where will you go? I am an enemy of the state. Until the end of the war, I will run. Then it will be time to make things right. Shalom, my friend. Bye.